candy tree departments, I know. Double strike. Double strike is great. Double strike. Hey, why are your hands so freakishly big? Uh, I don't know. Why are you so freakishly annoying? Well, why are you so freakishly annoying? <laughs> oh, so I should probably get that. Is something up, Koopa? Yep, it looks like the sound of a quite another video. Oh boy! I feel like it's been forever since we've been able to make one, Koopo. I mean, it hasn't been that long since we did the Q&A and Mario Maker video. Yeah, but I got kind of sad because I wasn't in those with you. Well, watch that feeling go away, my little Moogsta buddy, because me and you've got a video to make together. But there's no room for frowny faces in this one, so I'm gonna need to see your biggest smile. You mean, like this, Koopo? Uh, you might want to pull back on the kawaii desuness a bit before you scare someone. You got it, Mr. Director. Well, alrighty then, let's get to it. I think I'll call this one the Bear Boy Reintroduction. Back in 2018, I released my first ever episode on the Bear Boy Show, and boy, looking back on it, it truly was something. It definitely got the message across that I was inspired by others that I looked up to to make a unique gaming channel of my own. But I can admit that it's one of those old art pieces that I'm not the biggest fan of showing off, and even more so when looking back on myself. So I figured as we head into Season 2, I'd make a new introduction video that would properly introduce me and Mog. That's a fantastic idea! But, um, why don't you kick things off first? Since, you know, it is the Bear Boy show after all, and, you know, Kubo, you're the Bear Boy. <laughs> alright, alright, I get it. You don't have to try to flatter me, I'll save the best for last if that's what you want. In that case, where do I begin? I got it! Over many years ago, there was a race war between two tribes that led to a segregation for the sake of freedom. The Viking race were a tribe of burly warriors brought up in the cold northern lands of this world, who were famous for being born with a magical gift called the Spark. It's with this gift that allows them to use the electrical powers that the Viking warriors are ferociously known for. However, it's the human race that use their creative intellect to see their way through life's hurdles without any type of elemental powers. Growing up in this world was tough for me because, along with my brother, we are both the children of a Viking father and a human mother. Things were fine until age 4 when my father, fed up with my inability to manifest the spark as my brother was able to do with ease, took him and walked out on me, my mother, and my grandmother. The same grandmother who was actually his mother and the one who decided to raise me up when my mother passed away a year later from a rare sickness. It goes without saying that even though times have changed greatly, some of that racial tension still presents itself today. However, despite that, I'm still eager to get out there to prove to everybody that I'm a good guy. Or that just because I'm part Viking or part Hume doesn't really make me different from anybody. Grandma told me that Vikings are usually brought up with the intent of training their way into the Viking army at some point when they get older. But she knew, unlike with my father when he was younger, I had something special to offer and that one day I'll be able to do it. I'm still searching exactly for what that is, but I know that one day I'll find that light at the end of my tunnel. But yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a me in a nutshell. Sorry to get all moody there on you with that one, but now you know what drives me. What about you, Mog? Oh, whoa, okay, okay, wow. Um, I'm not actually sure I can top that one, JW, Koopo. Don't worry, bud. Life doesn't always have to be some type of competition. Just take it word for word and give the best you anyone could ask for. But that's the thing, how do I know if I'm giving the best me when I don't really know me, Koopo? I can't really remember where I came from, it's all a blank. It's like, what if it's all just a dream, Koopo? Oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, buddy. <laughs> Look, this is not a dream, you and me exist, and we're really here. You don't need a past to make a new future. Just because you don't remember much of the actual beginning doesn't mean there's not a point in time that you do remember that could be your new beginning. I say, why not start with that instead? Hmm, I, I think I understand what you mean, Koopo. A point in time that would be my new beginning. I think it would be when I first met you, JW. Wait, me? Really? Yeah, Koopo. My earliest memories is when I first woke up to you fixing my wound and making sure I was okay at the park. I didn't know who I was or where I came from, Koopo, but I knew I felt this warm feeling inside that just made me want to follow you. I felt that if I stuck by you, then maybe one day my memories would return. But even though that hasn't happened, it's okay. Because just being with you has brought me more new and exciting memories. I get to do videos with you and meet all the cool people I met along the way. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm happy I got to meet you, Kubo. Well, I'm happy to hear that. And same here, Mog. 
It's crazy to think that we've gotten this far in only five months when it feels like I've known you for years. Maybe that's due to something you remind me of. I remember some time ago when I was a kid, I didn't really have a lot of friends, so times were lonely. But I eventually created an imaginary friend based on a game that I played a lot. Things felt great. Until I got picked on and started getting called things like weird and crazy for playing with something that's not there. I guess it got to the point that the illusion was eventually broken and that friend faded away. But even now I wonder, imaginary or not, how do you forget about a friend? I'm not sure, but it does give me this heavy feeling like I made a mistake that I can't fix. Maybe in some way you two are still connected, Koopo. Even if you're not aware, I'm sure he's still out there watching over you and is probably really happy to see how much you've grown since then, Koopo. <laughs> well, while debatable, I am a big boy now after all. Mm -hmm. Is everything okay, buddy? You sure you... You sure you don't think that I'm an illusion, Koopo? Hmm. Well... Oh, come on, of course I don't think you're an illusion. You, on the other hand, for better or worse, actually talk back. Oh, Koopa Koopa! Uh. Mm. Thanks for saving me, and for being my friend, Koopa. Well, I'm glad we got to help each other out, little buddy. NJW, happy anniversary, Koopa.